All right, so there's this really cool story about reaching your goals and becoming successful that stuck with me for a really long time, and I want to retell it for you guys. The only problem is I don't remember every little detail, so I'm going to sprinkle in my own creativity along the way. And it goes something like this. There's a poor kid who lives in the poorest neighborhood with a poor family, and all this kid wants is success and wealth so he could take care of his family. And this kid is ambitious, so ambitious that he hops on his bike and rides 20 miles over to the ocean and he's walking these beach houses until he comes across the biggest beach house of them all that has the nicest cars in the driveway. And the kid is like, all right, he goes up to the door and he knocks on the door where an older gentleman proceeds to answer, smoking a cigar, wearing a silk robe and says, what do you want? And the kid's like, Please, I don't mean to bug you. All I want to know is how do I become successful like you? And the older gentleman looks down, kind of glares at him for a second. You want to become successful like me? Okay, I can show you. So come with me. So he takes him out back to the ocean. The tide's coming in. It's hid in the sand. And the old gentleman says, see that? I want you to walk out till the water's hitting your ankles. And the kid's like, okay. And so the kid walks out. The water is now hitting the kid's ankles. And he looks back at the old man. He's like, all right, go a little further. Go until the water's hitting your knees. And the kid walks out like, all right. He looks back. He's like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. And the older gentleman looks at him. Be patient. I'll show you. Just be patient. And he takes off his robe. And he's like, come with me. Come with me. And they go out. Now the water is hitting the kid's chest. And the kid's now over. He looks up at the old man. And he's like, dude, I am sorry for bothering you. You don't have to be mean and play jokes on me. I like until the old man grabs him and he's like, I'm not playing jokes. He grabs him by the neck and he shoves the kid underwater. And the kid's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and the kid's fighting to breathe, fighting to breathe. And he's thinking in his head, what was I thinking coming to this stranger's house? What did I expect was going to happen? And the kid is fighting and fighting to breathe, clawing at the guy's hand cutting into it the, the old man's now bleeding at the wrist until the kid almost blacks out and the old man lets him up and the kid <sighs> he's breathing and he's running towards the shore and he's looking back screaming you're crazy man you're crazy you're crazy and the old man is like i am crazy but I also taught you the most valuable lesson in life and that is until you want success as much as you wanted to breathe in that moment you will remain poor. Oh boy, and now that story is stuck in my head since. I mean, I carry that story every day. I'm chasing my goals. I mean, unless it consumes every part of you, you remain where you are. But at the same time, don't forget to breathe. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.